now yeah, I yeah, am yeah. extra happy, more happy, happier than usual oh. because we have actor and my super dear friend Alejandro oh. Eda from Fear the Walking Dead today in this. I'm so yeah. happy to have you. Yeah. Yeah. This guy has made me proud so many times. Oh. So I'm very happy that you're here today. Welcome. Welcome, Thank welcome. You. Thank you all. Thank As you. a fan of the show, you know what to do, right? <laughs> yes. A la una, three. a la dos, y a la tres. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Okay, good. <laughs> You guys are watching the show before you come on. I like this. I like I, how you don't I'm have to explain it as much. The show. Thank it, you, sir. It, you know what? It's actually a very. <laughs> it feels like it's like a familiar show to me. Mm -hmm. First of all, because the guests that have come before, mm -hmm. most of them either I know oh. or I admire right. or I um, nice. have a relationship with professionally. Well, okay. we've had most of the cast of Fear of the Walking Dead on the show already. <laughs> well, <laughs> but that, but you have casting directors like Blanquita. Nice. Uh, Fernando Lebrija vino. Fernando Lebrijo, Lebrija, mis compadres de Kinky. Yeah. Eh, que faltaron varios, pero bueno, estuvo Joaquín y Verónica Falcón. Wow. Que, <laughs> o sea, no, conoce no, a todos los no, guests no, 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 y, y todos somos representados por los mismos managers. Oh. Así que saludos a la Oye, ¿tú sabes lo que eso dice? Eso dice que muchos latinos are making it in Hollywood. Because That's we can true. have them on, on, on the show, claro. and you know, and are working with. Y ese es el show que nos está exponiendo. La verdad, y ese show, exactly. este show, digo, ustedes cumplieron en mayo, abrieron, ¿no? En mayo 16. Sí, 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 sí. Mayo 16, yo cumplo mayo 17, mi cumpleaños. Oh. Y yo octubre 17, felicidades a mí, gracias. Ah, sí. ¿Qué es lindo, eh? ¿Qué es lindo, eh? ¿Cómo Tauro, igual que ustedes, de su ah. es, es taurino. Y yo siento que así como nosotros latinos estamos, pues, no quiero decir explotando, pero sí avanzando, right. de buena fe. Este show también va a avanzar de buena fe y, 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 va, y va a crecer. Y... ¡Un fuerte aplauso! ¡Qué bonito! ¡Qué bonito! ¡Eso! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Es verdad, es verdad. ¡No mames! Felicidades por lo que están haciendo. Eh, a María, que es una gran amiga mía, y me acuerdo perfectamente cuando estábamos en mi casa hablando de este programa, que te iban a contratar. Entonces, pues gracias por invitarme. Y también... ¡House calls! Woo. Pero bueno, hablando de todo esto que se está logrando, Ale, este, bueno, nosotros queremos contarle también al público, Alejandro Eda está ahora en Fear the Walking Dead, Quiero que nos cuentes un poquito acerca de tu experiencia trabajando en un cast como ese, porque aparte no es lo único que está haciendo, por eso vamos un poquito más adelante. Cuéntanos de Fear the Walking Dead. ¿Cómo Fear... es tu personaje? ¿Qué podemos eh... esperar? What's happening? Mi personaje es Marco Rodríguez. Es, un, es el líder de, de, una, de los narcos, se puede decir, ¿no? de un gang. <risa> y, y Marco tiene algo parecido, como, como un poquito me relaciono con él de una manera. Es un chavo que creció humilde, y empezó como que a hacerse un poquito de armas y de como de strength y de fuerza para llevar a sus pseudos a combatir este post mundo post apocalíptico. Y de una manera, Marco tiene que ver conmigo porque también él, él venía de nada y empezó como que a crecer un poquito y a echarle ganas y a defenderlo en lo que él cree, ¿no? En este caso, pues, él cree en su... En, en, pues ahora sí que en hacer más desmadre. <risa> Pero eres bueno o malo? Soy malo. Ok. Soy ¡Qué malo. rico! Perfecto. Soy eh. malo, soy malo, soy matón y un, un buen mexicano matón de Tijuana. Y, y mi personaje no habla inglés en la serie, entonces me encantaba poder recibir los guiones en inglés y yo traducirlos a mi español. Ah, y era, pues tenía mucha libertad y eso sí. me encantaba. Y por fin pude, aparte de que estábamos con gente en Tijuana, yo les decía, ¿cómo dices esto aquí? ¿Cómo, cómo hablan ustedes aquí con locales? Oh. ¿Qué los gros, cholos, ¿no? ¿Qué groserías ocupan? No tanto los cholos, sino los narquillos. Como los, los narquillos, sí, okay, sabes, okay. Los norteños. Los narquillos. Norteños. Sí. Yeah, narcos. Es a cool way I've never heard that word before, though, narquillo. Tenemos un clip del show, vamos a verlo. Vale. Check this out. You're the walking dead. What you said? Les cortamos las manitas. They're gonna chop off your head. No, no, no. Wait. Translate for me. Ask him if that's his sister in there. Is that your sister in there? Ask him. ¿Qué dice? Ask him. Is that his sister? Dice que si esa chica es tu hermana. Okay. No, no, wait, wait. If he doesn't let me go, we'll take our business elsewhere. Que si no nos dejas ir, que no nos vamos a comprar más aquí. Oh, bueno, I mean. Wow, wow. Yeah. wow. Say yeah. Yeah. I thought you were a nice guy. Oh, You're a good actor guy. because you seem like a really <laughs> nice guy, and you yeah. seem like a devil in that uh, clip right there. I don't know why. <laughs> even even my, my mom is like, why are you playing bad roles? Like, you know, like bad guys. You're not a bad guy. And, mm -hmm. and she, she's a big fan of, of the show. And uh -huh. when she watched now the end of the season, which my character, you know, arcs finished, uh, she was like, I'm a little afraid of you. What do you have in your mind? <laughs> like, what's behind that? All... Because the end is pretty. It's pretty intense, the, right. end, the last episode and the end of my 
you know, my mm. performance. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the beginnings, because we know each other from Puebla. We're from the same hometown, mm. but we actually met here in the States. Wow. Yes. Um, in New York in a screening that he had back in the day that I actually went um, as an audience member. And I want you to tell us, you know, because it, it hasn't been an easy path and an easy journey, but you have come and conquered it. There's a lot of people from Puebla or from Mexico that actually came and, you know, it was a little group. And Alejandro stuck to the idea of, like, I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to make this happen. And you know how, how happens in L.A.? People start, like, you know, bye-bye or doing something else or focusing on something else. He has a beautiful family and you're still, you know, pursuing your dream. So I want to know a little bit about what triggered going for acting. O sea, ¿qué fue lo que te prendió así? Sí. <laughs> Probably my bad grades, you know. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, in, in the beginning, I knew, I knew two things for sure. I mean, you know how sometimes they say you were born to do this? Uh-huh. I know it sounds corny, but I, I later on believed that. Now I believe it. Before, I didn't, but I just knew there was something in me. And then, in, in school, I was very bad. <laughs> Not student as 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 uh, uh, conduct, but mm -hmm. academically I was okay. failing most of the classes. Oh. So that led to me like you know, I'm, a my family won't pay for a nice university. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the money, and B I don't even have the grades to get into a university. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, uh, but I, what do I like? And I really like acting, and that was my passion. So I moved to Mexico City to study in a Russian conservatory. And the first semester, my grades were 9.8. Wow. The next semester, 9.7, 9.9. And I was like, I don't know, I wasn't a bad student. It was just because I wasn't interested in yeah, those things. Right. And this is my thing. And I was happy and very good at it. So from that end, I continue. And then Mexico brought, you know, everybody has different circumstances. In my case, my circumstances brought me to the States uh, because of my mom and our situation. So I don't think there's a, a path that you have to follow. But there is something that you have to listen what is around with to, I mean around you and that's what I think has kept me just going Focused. forward and, 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 and yeah I get you well, no, you, you know what we're, we're keeping the show moving forward because we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back with more with Alejandro Etna como se dice? Eda, Eda. Eda. Alejandro Eda here in the zoo here I here never here. Do 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 please <laughs> with the one and only Alejandro Eda. Yeah, yeah, Thank you so much for joining us again. Well, you didn't even leave. I don't know why I always say that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm here. You're here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank okay. You. So besides the whole acting thing, you're also a father. How in the that. world do you balance the world of acting with the world of being a father? That's what keeps me balanced. Yeah? That's what keeps wow. me balanced. It doesn't drive me crazy, though, because I can't, I you know, I feel like I have to dedicate all my time to work, and then you have a child, so it's like... Two. Two children. Two. Wow. Luciano and Paolo. What? Yes. Wow. I can't even take care of myself. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> how I feel. You know what I was thinking this recently? I said, you know, it's hard for our, our career to have all these. There's nothing sh certain. Right. right. And there's moments when you are super happy because you booked the job, you are working, you're doing a TV show or a movie, and then you know there's going to be a last day. And that right. last day you're done. <laughs> it's a wrap. And then you're unemployed. Mm -hmm. And you're like, hi, way, or okay. <laughs> so I was thinking that. <laughs> That, that in order for me to keep that alive and that hungry and, and that hunger, sorry, is really my family. So actually, okay. my balance comes from my family. So I'm not suggesting it, but I think sometimes in this career, what you need to do is to really have that to Because hold at on. least that's, oh, that's stable. Scary. It's stable and it's something different to wake up to. I wake up with love and I go to bed with love. Now, you know? you're a working actor right now, but did you have your kids at a time where you when know, was, your I, acting I, career yeah. was up in the air? I was a bass boy, and wow. I, my wife, well, at that time, my girlfriend, was pregnant. So I was, and I was 24. Uh, and I was, oh, geez, what am I going to do? You know? <laughs> that, right. That's my age. I'm 24. <laughs> yeah. I'm freaking out thinking about, like, yeah. about, about having kids. So I'm a bass boy, uh -huh. you know, trying to be a server <laughs> while auditioning for Domino's or, you know, McDonald's commercial, and then... Yeah, uh, a, a, a newly be, father. Yeah, soon with, to be father. And then I learned that actually babies don't, they're not, they're born, but they don't ask for money. Uh-huh. This is a stupid yeah, idea. Yeah, but if that you don't have, have money, you can't feed them, what are you? Yes, the mother nature. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Babies only need love and presence. 
Yeah, that's it. That's true. And we a are, good think, pair of breasts. We think they know. Did you say exactly. presents or breasts? <laughs> breasts and breasts. Both. Breasts. Both. Both. Yeah. Breasts. Well, he's married a good, to a good. beautiful. <laughs> he's married to a beautiful, beautiful Colombian woman, Aura, who is like a great team. Is to she you. also an actress? No. Thank no. God. no okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but that really helps because you guys like really balance it out because yes. you really do know how to work as a team so that's a big a, another big thing. By the yes. way, um, I want to get to something that we did because uh, following the huge success of Fear the Walking Dead, we had an inside source at AMC reveal exclusively to the zoo that there are other Walking Dead spin-offs in the works. And I wanted to show you some of the posters and go over some of the synopsis because maybe after Fear the Walking Dead, you can reprise your role unless you're killed to one of these other shows. Or maybe you'll just act like somebody else or shave the beard. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so okay. check this out. It's our rehash. All right, first, first show that we're gonna do, Fear the Walking Dead. The first spin-off coming in the fall of 2018 actually enlists the star power of one of the most recognizable cult actors of our time. <laughs> it's called Fear the Walking Dead. Get it? Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Oh my Walken. goodness. Yes. I See would that? love to be in that one. <laughs> that is yeah, an excellent spin-off. Okay. Good. So the next show is comes from the biggest name in ethnic comedy series, Tyler Perry. He will star as the entire ensemble of sassy zombies in the spin-off, <laughs> Tyler Perry's Diary of the Dead walking oh whole lot of my people. God, what the hell is that? <laughs> yes! Diary of the Dead. Medea! Yeah. I she will Medea. beat up all of the zombies, let yeah, me tell will. you. She will. She is no joke. She will. Yes, some Medea. Medea. The next spin-off will actually air in Mexico on the famous telenovela channel Televisa. It's a tale of romance, intrigue, maids, and light-skinned Latino zombies called... Tra Help me out here. Traición... Okay. Right here. Ah, Traición de los Caminantes Muertos. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. So which one do you think... I mean, it's obviously, spooky. people are going to think you belong in the Mexican one, but I, I got a feeling that we can find you a spot um, in the Tyler Perry or the Fear of the Walking Dead. I will love the walking. Walk I will okay. love the walking, and then soon, you know yeah. how he loves to dance? These and people, and they're <laughs> dead. So Christopher dead. Walken might just die doing that show, but not because he got bit by a zombie, but because he died of old age. You know? Zombies <laughs> everywhere. No, by the way, can man. you tell us a little bit about her? I mean, she was telling us about you and how you guys met. Who's Vivian? You know, we've only known her for yeah, a couple of months. Yeah. Who is Vivian? I want the nitty gritty. Listen, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something here, uh -huh. and all of you are included. Good. Oh. And people outside as well. We are a group, and Vivian is, is, is this woman uh -huh. who we all come here from, really from the beginning, from, from the top bottom, picando piedra, como decimos en México, ¿no? Sí. Tac, 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 tac. Y esta mujer es un gran ejemplo para, para todo mundo, hombres, mujeres, donde, Lo que se quiere se puede. Y esta mujer es una niña demasiado, demasiado eh, <laughs> hambrienta de, 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 esa, de ese amor, de lo que ella quiere hacer. Entonces, Vivian, por ejemplo, a mí me ha enseñado mucho a la vez. Es una chava que está trabajando, tiene un, un day job, nine to five, tiene una sonrisa increíble en todo lo que pone. El que ella está haciendo este show para mí me ilusionó muchísimo. Compartimos el mismo agente de voz, está haciendo ya comerciales de voz. Sí, este, Yo la verdad nada más espero unos añitos más para que yo te esté entrevistando <risa> amen, a ti. Amén, amén. Y todos ustedes, yo sé que tienen esto. O sea, ustedes también son actores, hosts, radio hosts. O sea, el talento aquí es in indescriptible. O sea, Oye, ¿are you like the Mexican Tony Robbins? Yeah, what's going on? I love Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is amazing. I love her. ¡Sayá! ¡Sayá! Thank you. Ay, cuánto te quiero. Now, do you think all that's going to change if a guy named Trump became president? Do you no. think that all these actors would be exported and we wouldn't be in any no, movies or anything? Absolutely not. What do, what do you think, just we only have one minute left, what do you think as a Mexican and a Mexican working here in the United States, what do you think about what Trump signifies? Well, he doesn't signify anything but just negativity and pure evil. Yes! That's it. <laughs> and bad hair. Yes! Um, yeah. Couldn't have said it Let's better. Let's turn him into yeah. a zombie. Let's don't bring Donald Trump into this beautiful set. <laughs> nice! <laughs> yes. We have a señora of Donald Trump. That's the problem. Trump, Everyone it. brings him everywhere. We didn't Let's get him out. Let's turn him into this bueno, zombie. Bueno, y con eso terminamos el show. Muchas gracias por venir. Gracias, Charlie. Gracias, Charlie. Gracias, Charlie. And thanks to all of our guests. And of course, Jay Alvarez for joining us today. Remember, you can follow us online at The Zoo on LATV for Roku, for your cell phone, and for everywhere else. Just go find us, all right, LATV people? LATV Mobile. <laughs> That's right. See you guys next time right Bye. here on The Zoo. Bye.